What's up everybody, this is Hemorrhoid aka Deep Fryer here, wishing you guys a good afternoon or a good morning or good evening depending on what part of the world you find yourself in and what time of day it is right now for you. Um, now, we're going to be doing Abyss 33 today, we're going to be continuing our Abyss series, but I do have a uh, co-op instructional video that should be out sometime later this week. Speaking of which, uh, co-op resumes today. So everybody get your agents ready, it's time to hit these bosses hard. Now, let's take a look at Abyss Stage 33 and see what we can get into. Okay, it looks like the boss is going to be invulnerable until all other monsters are defeated. Um, so, it looks like all of the enemies are specialists except for the boss. The boss is an attack class. So, okay guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really punish myself for you guys today. I am gonna try to clear this content with Brillheart. I've been goofing around with Lou a little bit. Uh, I built him up to, uh, for the defense down debuff for co-op. So I'm gonna bring him. He's only level 60. Brillheart is level 50. I've not touched her in a while. Um... But now I am going to cheat a little bit and bring Cornelia. I, I need some really strong heals to try to pull this off. Um, let's see. What other attacker would I like to bring? I will bring Anne Bo Young. Um, she's a very strong uh, A-rank attack unit, probably the strongest. I don't have the best gear on her, though. I believe I stole most of her good crit-related and attack-related gear for other units. I think, I think I have some crit damage down or something uh, something goofy. Something goofy on Anne. So let's see. For Lou, I'm going to definitely need as much defense as possible. He is only, uh, what did I say, level 60 and 4 stars. So going to need some defense. Cornelia, we, we get, we're going to need to maximize her heals. So I'm going to go full HP. Now, like I said in a previous video, when you're on, when you're playing PvP, you're going to want to go pretty much speed on just about everything. But you know, we have a little bit of uh, wiggle room in game modes like Abyss to, to do some different things. And Bo Young, I think, will go with attack power. And uh, to be honest with you guys, I don't even know if this is going to work. So let's <laughs> let's see. I, I haven't tried it tried it with this uh, this team. So let's. Let's just see what happens. Happy Tuesday. Let's see. Okay. Real hard. Okay, starting out with Cornelia. Just taking a taking a look at these mobs. I want to get rid of this uh, little flying skeleton guy. I'm sorry, I don't remember his name. But, um... I believe he's the one that stuns, so I want to get rid of him. Now, let's see here, this is, is this a guaranteed taunt? Yes, this is, uh, skill 3 on Lou is a guaranteed taunt, so even though I'm not going to do any damage, I'm going to taunt, uh, the boss to try to keep him off of my team, and since the enemy team does not have any healers or cleansers, I'm going to use Brillheart's uh, shock skill to try to get some damage going. Alright. Little laggy there. I have a pretty powerful gaming laptop. It's an HP Omen, but when you run these Android emulators, it's, um, it's inevitable that you're going to run into a little bit of lag, especially with games that are as uh, graphical, uh, as graphic intensive as Super String. Um, okay, so, apparently Lou's dead. <laughs> so, as I said, I don't even know that this is going to work. I could be embarrassing myself here today, so let's, uh, let's pray to our in Jesus. Hey, alright, it hit the three targets that were not shielded. By the way, guys, do not build up for a while. Don't. 
unless they do some kind of uh, major update where they uh, significantly strengthen her, don't build for a moment, trust me on this. Okay, Cornelia is about to bleed to death, so as much as I don't want to burn the cleanse, I'm gonna have to do it right now just to keep, try to keep Cornelia alive. That still didn't bring, uh, give me as many hit points as I would've liked. Um, this is fun, guys, this is fun. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh my. Yeah. Ouch. Ouch, down goes Cornelia. <laughs> I think we're in trouble, guys. I think we're in trouble. Oh, that hurt. Alright, my only hope is to kind of try to take this boss down quickly with Anne. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm Let's see, I've got 105% damage versus 125. I think 105 will kill him, but I desperately need him to die for sure this turn to have any chance at completing the stage, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with the 125% skill. Okay, he's dead. All right, here we go. We've got to take him down quickly or else he is going to really hurt us. We might pull this off. Woo! Real heart survived. She's a survivor. Okay. Okay. We've actually got this. <laughs> we got this. I was worried. I was genuinely worried. I'm sure you could tell. But anyway, so there. There's a great example of you know taking what units you have to work with and just kind of making them work. So so there's you guys a great example. 1.5 million uh, credits. That's good since. I kind of went on a bit of a spending spree last night. I upgraded a lot of agents, including Soquan. Um, I tried to get one Miho up a little bit because she was kind of lagging behind a little bit on the combat power, because um, I'm wanting her for some of these higher level Abyss stages. But anyway, there you go, guys. Um, that's Abyss 33. Uh, so I hope that helps. I hope you maybe saw maybe a strategy that you hadn't thought of, or at least hopefully you were entertained. Um, I don't really have any loot crates to open for you guys, I'm sorry about that. Like I said, I went on a bit of a spree last night trying to upgrade a bunch of agents. Um, so anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and be looking out for that co-op instructional video I have coming out. It will be out very soon. Uh, so, until next time, this is Hemroid. Ah.